And we are back live on the Icebreaker Radio Show. It's going down tonight, fellas, man. We got a jam pack full of special guests, and I'm excited about this next guy coming up right here. We got Big Jig from Universal Records live on the line. How you doing tonight, Big Jig? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. We also got my tour DJ, West Coast Bad Boy Hustle Event DJ's Go To Man DJ's President DJ Hustle on the line as well. What's cracking? Well, what's up, can... DJ Hustle? What's going on with you, man? Oh man, let's get my stuff together for the night show, on boy. Already, already, man. Well, we definitely appreciate y'all gracing us with your presence. I was struggling on my questions, man. I mean, you know, you guys have definitely put, been putting in a lot of good work. You came highly recommended from our programming director. And when I sit back and I heard the music, I was like, man, this guy here is actually working with something. So I got a few basic questions for you, me and, me and our, my panel of co-hosts. We definitely right. going to dig into your mind and, and see what's going on in the mind of Big Jig tonight. My first question for you, I always ask this of anybody that's, that's gaining steam, what was it that made you want to hop into the rap game? Uh, just just having a just having a passion for music, man. I always liked the music growing up. You know, I always been a, a hip hop head as a youngster. You know, growing up listening to the greats like LL and the KRS ones and you know stuff like that, man. So you know, I really kind of gained a passion for the music just just by happenstance. Actually, man, it was all just a. Uh, Right now, man, I consider myself to be living a dream. Like I really never thought that right. I would be, because I was such a, I, I was such an athletic, you know, guy always in the sports, you know, and, and stuff like that. So I never, I never really was uh, interested in really taking a pursuing a music career until, you know, one day, you know, by happenstance, I tried it, and I actually got it was a gift. So when I seen that it was a gift, man, you know, I ran with it. Already, already. And how long have you actually been in the game? I'm just my 12 years, 12 years, man. I've been in the game since 99, man. 99. Well, you know, um, I had a lot of people hitting me up in my email, um, a lot of people getting at me on Twitter, a lot of people shooting at me on, my, on the other social networks, you know what I'm saying, that I'm affiliated with and I'm a part of. And one of the questions that most of the rappers were asking was is, what did it take for you to get signed? Well, just, just – uh, Getting affiliate, affiliate, just being affiliated with the right people for one man. You know, getting affiliated with the right people. You know, because uh, you know it's a lot of scam artists out here, man. It's a lot of people that are, you know, fill you with dreams, <laughs> fill you with dreams, and tell you, you know, hey, well, I can get you this and I can make the moon purple for you and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's the basic thing is, is to get, you know, get yourself surrounded with positive people. That's you know, all about progressing and success. And then the next thing is stay diligent and be patient and um, understand that this is not a microwave blessing. It just don't happen overnight. You got to put in your dues. You got to pay your dues, man. So, you know, that was the basic thing. And, and stay relevant as far as with your uh, – stay relevant and create and, and um, creative with your with your music, with your craft. You know what I mean? Always try to do – get. always try to do better. Like when you make one hot record, make, make that be your competition that – to yourself that you make the next record hotter than the last one. Right, right. That's good advice, man. We get hit up all the time um, from producers, artists, DJs, people really trying to break into the game. Our email stays flooded uh, from music submissions to different things like that. And a lot of people are looking for the shortcut. And I always tell people, man, that if you come into the game quick, you're going to leave out the game even quicker. So yeah. 12 years in the game, hustling, putting it down. I just want to say, man, big ups to you for staying consistent and staying down and not letting go of your dream. Um, yeah. well, uh, at this point in time in the interview, I want to go ahead and hop into your first song. You sent me three hot blazing joints, and it was really tough to pick two. So thank you for that, Big Jig. I really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, no problem. Man. I wanted to spin. <laughs> no problem. The first song I wanted to spin is Gucci Girl. So go ahead and let everybody out there know in Radio Land, you know what I'm saying, how this song came about and what this song is about. Well, actually, man, you know, uh, shout out to the producer, J.D., Beats, who actually produced the record, um, is actually the first single off my album, I Am The Go-To Man. You actually can request this this record now worldwide at every station globally. Um, it's just a record. It's a party record, but it's a record for the ladies, man. It's a record that, you know, just inspiring the, the women who, you know, some women might not like uh, 
might not like Coach. They might not like Prada, but you know they like Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So you know, just a basic, <laughs> just a basic record for uh, just a basic creative record for uh, the women who like the finer things in life, man. You know, this for y'all, man. It's the ladies after of the summer. You know, you can be a Gucci girl. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to be a product girl, a coach girl, come be a Gucci girl, man. It's Big Jig, man. Talking to me, man. My tour DJ, DJ Hustle, man. We in this thing, man. Icebreaker Radio, man. That's how we do, man. Talk to him, Jig. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I already, without further ado, this is Big Jig, Gucci girl.